Welcome to Community Presbyterian Church and our Gospel Box Story Time for April 25th, 2021. Our book this week is called How Great is Our God? It's by Louis Giglio, illustrated by Nicola Anderson. This book has several stories in it, and I'll just read one today. Our story this week is called Stormy Weather. God made rules for the rain, and he set a path for a thunderstorm to follow. From the book of Job, chapter 28, verse 26. Howling wind, pounding rain, booming thunder, lightning streaking across the sky. You know what that is. It's a storm. Scientifically speaking, a storm is any serious disturbance in the Earth's atmosphere. There are storms of wind, hail, snow, and even dust. But the most common storms are thunderstorms. They have dark clouds, heavy rain, lightning, thunder, and strong winds. Thunderstorms happen when hot, moist air rises up and meets cooler air. As the warm air cools, clouds, rain, and lightning form. Meanwhile, the cooler air sinks toward the ground, creating strong winds. Some 1,800 thunderstorms happen across our planet every single day. And that's not counting all the other kinds of storms. Thunderstorms, snowstorms, and dust storms are all usually violent, often dangerous, and definitely scary. There's a place in Venezuela around Lake Marucaibo where the storm almost never ends. For about 300 days each year, lightning zaps down an average of 28 strikes per minute, and sometimes unleashes up to 3,600 bolts an hour, or one per second. Known as Catatumbo, lightning this storm is so fierce and powerful that it can be seen up to 250 miles away. But don't worry. Jesus knows a thing or two about storms. He once walked through a storm at sea right on top of those angry waves. They didn't even slow him down. That story is in Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 to 33. Another time, he slept through a storm, at least until his worried disciples woke him up. Then he told that storm to hush and be still. That story is in Mark 4 verses 35 to 41. The thing is, you're going to have storms in your life. Thunderstorms, friend storms, family storms, or maybe even a faith storm. But know this, Jesus is ready to walk with you through the storms, so ask him for help. He'll be with you from the first glimpse of storm until the sun comes out again. Let us pray. Dear Lord, when storms come in the skies, in the people around me, or in my heart, help me remember that you are right there with me and that you are bigger than any storm. Now let us join together in the words of the Lord's Prayer, in whatever form we know best. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. 
Thank you for joining us and we'll see you again soon.